How would you like to get paid for simply watching videos like what you're doing right now? Yes, simply watching videos, downloading information into your brain, but on top of that, also getting paid. If you can just scroll down, look at all these cryptocurrencies that you can actually earn, guys. It's a lot, right? There's really a lot of them, right? So that is one of the opportunities that we're going to be talking about later in this video, which is uh, one of the top five ways to earn money from Binance.com, which is basically a, a crypto exchange, a crypto wallet, whatever you want to use it for. It can be either a wallet, it can be also so a platform where you trade your cryptocurrencies buy cryptocurrencies trade for other cryptocurrencies and so forth right so uh, one of the ways that you can actually make some cash from this platform is going to be through watching videos and we're going to break it down further in this video is so make sure that you keep watching all the way to the end as we're going to be breaking those top five ways in this video but before we get on to all that good stuff we're going to start off with simply how to sign up and how to get you started so that you can be ready to earn some cash through this platform over here right so that is what we're going to be talking about in this video make Make sure you subscribe you turn on notifications smash that like button so that this video can reach more people and more people can be able to make money on the internet right so with that being said let's get straight into it welcome back to day and night forex youtube channel and on this channel we share different ways to make money mostly in through forex trading we already know that we've uh, put our whole course on here and just go through and search through our previous videos and you'll be able to learn how to trade forex because anyone can teach you forex but here day and night we teach you how to win so if you are hungry for that information if you want to learn how to trade you can go through and watch all those videos but in this video we're going to be sharing with you one of the interesting ways that you can actually make some cash on the internet through this platform called Binance right so basically to get started you're going to need to sign up and for you to sign up there is a link down below uh, that we've left for you so that you, you just click on that link and then it will take you to this website that you're seeing over here you can actually do this either on a mobile phone or on a PC it's all up to you and they actually have an app as well right so uh, the mobile app over here it will look something like this over here but we actually going to go deeper we're actually going to show you my screen later uh, from my mobile phone so that you can actually see it in action in this video later on stay tuned for that we're actually going to be breaking it down for you later so that you can see how easy it is to navigate because there's a lot that is going on on this platform as you can see uh, so many things that is happening here but we're just going to be breaking down the important things that you need to understand so that you can make the most of this platform and be able to earn some cash out of it right so starting off over here uh, as we said you click on the link whether you know mobile phone or you're using a pc and then it will bring you to this website right so once you're here you can click on the register button and then uh, you'll be able to register your account either using your email or using your phone number right so make sure that you actually put your correct email and your correct phone number because that is where they're actually uh, gonna send you the pin code that you need to enter uh, so you need to enter this pin code so that you can actually proceed right so you can either sign up with your phone number or email it's all up to you it doesn't really matter what you sign up with but uh, if you use your phone number you're still gonna need to connect your email because that's where you're gonna be receiving all the updates concerning your, your your account right so maybe when you do your deposits when you do your re withdrawal request and you need to verify that you is you was actually doing that withdrawal which is a, a way to make sure that not anybody can just come in your account and withdraw without your concern right so uh, basically as you can see over here you click on the register button it will bring up this form over here you select your country of residence uh, from this list over here right unfortunately if your country is not listed on this platform then that means that you cannot actually use it right so if you are in one of these countries then you are safe right so if you are in any of these countries you're actually safe so here we are in south africa and we're still safe on this platform so we can actually register right so click on that you can either select on the phone uh, then you can use your mobile phone and then you can uh, enter your password right so you're setting a new password over here uh, just make sure that you remember that otherwise anytime that you forget your password on the login page uh, you can actually request a, a reset password reset right so this that is also another reason why you need to make sure that your email emails and the phone number is actually uh, active and correct right so those are the, the emails that you always have access to so that you don't lose access to your cryptocurrencies right so remember once you lose access to the to that wallet there's no other way to actually get access to it right so you will lose your cryptocurrency for good so it, it is always always advisable that you use your most common email or your most common phone number so that you don't lose access to your uh, to your cryptocurrencies you don't lose access to your money right so once you enter your email you send enter your password then you'll be able to to, to proceed you can also uh, click for updates but this is optional it's not it's not needed right so it's optional i know in this video i said i'm going to share with you five but we always like to over deliver so right now i'm going to share with you the extra way to actually earn on this platform which will be the sixth one and that's basically by clicking the links that we put down below for you so with this platform what happens is that when you click on this link and sign up when you trade balance on the account is past at least hundred dollars in trading volume you actually get a free five dollars credited to your account 
just because you use a referral ID or referral link to sign up on this platform, right? So that is why it is optional over here, but uh, that is another extra way to earn, right? That is just a, an extra sixth way uh, to earn from this platform. So uh, use that link, make sure that the ID, you see it here when you are signing up your account, then you are guaranteed to get that $5 after trading a volume of at least $100 on the platform, right? So it, it doesn't matter when you actually reach that $100 trading volume, but basically whenever you reach it, that $5 will be credited to your account. So there's just an extra thing, an extra bonus way to earn on this platform. And basically what happens is that also if you are going to be referring your friends to this platform, you can use your own referral ID, uh, which you'll get once you created your account. And then once you, sh you share that link with your friends, that means every time they also trade $100 worth of um, volume on this platform, you, you both of you will get that $5, right? You get the $5, your friend will also get your $5, right? So it doesn't matter who you refer, as long as they trade that $100 uh, volume, you will get that uh, $5 credit to your account. So that is just an extra way to earn besides the five that we're going to go into, which will be more interesting, right? So stay tuned for that. Now, once you have your password, once you set everything, you create your account, they will send you a, a link which you use to verify your account, right? So and you just click on that link and then you come back to the login page, right? So we're just going to quickly go to the login page so that we can log in and then you'll be able to see uh, the back end, right? So I'm just going to put in my details over here and then uh, log in. Right, you can also uh, scan your code from your phone uh, from the mobile app, which you will download later in this video. I uh, will show you where, how to download the app so that you can also have a better way or simplified way to actually log in, which is simply scanning this code over here from your uh, Binance app, and then you'll be able to log in right without your password. Once you log in for the first time over here, they will ask you uh, if you want to do your security verification, which is always a good idea to do so, so that it actually adds extra layer of security, so that it won't be easy for hackers to actually get access to your account right so uh, this is an extra security layer that you can set up by just clicking those options and then following the on-screen guide so that you can actually have your account uh, more secured right so before you do any transactions on this account it is very very important that you go through and do your verification right so you come here and then you click on the verify or you can come here and click on the verify uh, account so this is something that is very very important for you to do before you start any trading over here otherwise you deposit your funds over here but then you won't be able to withdraw right so it's very very important guys and it's also important for uh you remember we spoke about how you can actually earn from just watching videos like this and then uh, earn some cryptocurrencies on this account it's actually a requirement for you to have have a verified account uh, for you to be able to utilize that method right so if you're interested in that method of earning through this platform or any other method actually you need to have your account verified so well, it's very simple process you just click on verify uh, you start with your email verification where you connect your email and then you also do your email your KYC which is basically your ID right so that's when you need to send in your ID and sometimes they will even request your uh, proof of address right so it just needs to be at least three months old yeah uh, it can be a bank statement if, if you have online banking you can just log into your bank uh, to your online banking and then download your latest banking uh, statement right so and then you can just submit that and that will be your that will be good enough for them to verify your account right and then when it comes for your id you can use your your local id you can use your passport uh, and then that will be good enough for them to verify your account so once you have your account verified you can then go ahead and deposit knowing that you or any limits have been lifted off uh, and you just need to make sure that you actually your account is verified right so once it's verified you see that is actually verified you won't have all these uh things that are uh, all these verification requirements uh, that show you that you need to verify your account right so as you can see from here you'll be able to see whether you're verified or not so uh, once you verify just make sure that you are when you come to your account here just on this highlight on this or click on this icon over here and then you'll be able to check your status uh when it comes to verification so usually it's very very quick it can be in a day or at least two business days right so that is number one so very very important for you before you get started with any of these ways uh so that is how you get uh verified right so once you get your account verified, now let's talk about the different types of trading that are on this platform, right? So if you're following us, you're obviously interested in Forex trading, you're interested in uh, different ways of making money through trading, right? So we're going to be teaching you uh, different ways where you, how you can actually make some cash from this platform over here uh, with the top five ways, but also we're just going to teach you how you can actually do some crypto trading uh, on this platform, right? So there are different three different types of trading that you find on this platform right here. So you have the spot trading, you have to... The 
the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, trading and then you have margin trading. Now, you might be familiar with margin trading because that is what we do uh, with our MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 and the different brokers, right? So that is when you have an, an account with a leverage and then you're basically trading, um, you know, with more money than what you have because of the leverage, right? So that is what we call margin trading. So that is very basic, right? So if you come to the menu over here under the uh, trade over here, you can see that option over here, which is the margin trading. So you can click on that and then find your account and then start trading the different markets uh, that are available, right? And then we have uh, spot trading, which is another one that we're going to be talking about. And then we have the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, type of trading, right? So we are going to be speaking about this. So once again, just to uh, re-emphasize on, on margin trading, that is when you are buying low and selling high, just like what we do with our currencies, that we just like what do we do with the gold metals, with the indices. Uh, but basically here you'll be trading, you know, maybe you're trading BTC against USD Tether or you're, tra you're trading Bitcoin against uh, Litecoin, different crypto markets that you'll be trading, right? Uh, that is basically margin trading. Now, if you look at something like spot trading, uh, basically with spot trading with this markets over here is that you have what we call an order book, right? So this is an order book over here. It shows us the orders that are available for us to uh, hop in the market and then buy or, you know, if you're interested in buying, let's say for this market right over here, over here as you can see, we have uh, Bitcoin against USD Tether. So basically USD Tether is the, um, one of those cryptocurrencies that are called the stable coins. And basically what it means is that it is its value almost as equal they try to keep it as equal as to uh, the us dollar but sometimes it will fluctuate by a cent or a few cents but basically it's always one dollar equals to one usd tether or one usd tether is equals to one dollar right so it's always fluctuates a little bit by a few cents but basically that is the idea behind these stable coins right so this is one of the most common uh, stable coins which is the usd tether in this case as you can see right here bitcoin uh, uh, is basically trading 38 38 dollars uh, if you want to buy one Bitcoin. So you need uh, 38,509 USD Tether to buy a full Bitcoin, right? So, but remember with cryptocurrencies, you can buy even partials, right? So you can buy 0 0.001 if you only have maybe five, $10 to spend on buying Bitcoin. You don't have to buy the full Bitcoin, right? Which is another thing that we're going to be talking about, which is uh, buying to hold and invest, which is another way to actually earn some uh, money through buying these cryptocurrencies, right? So with the spot trading, it's basically what it says, right? So it's on the spot. Once you see what you want, the then you uh, buy it or you sell it, right? So as you can see, all these orders that are starting from this amount over here going up on the red block, these are basically sellers, right? So they are offering you their Bitcoin, uh, which is the base currency because we have BTC USD Tether here, right? So uh, BTC against USD Tether. So our Bitcoin is our base currency. So that is what we are buying whilst giving these people uh, USD Tether, right? So these people are basically selling their Bitcoin at uh, $38,504, which is the minimum. Minimum, but as you can see as you go up it actually increases right so the more expenses that it goes as you go higher right so on the other side on the flip side we have this the, we have the buyers right so these are people who are offering uh, some cash right they're offering some cash for that bitcoin right so that is basically spoiled trading on the spot right so it's like it's instant trading because the market is already there the buyers are already there the sellers are already there so you just have to click on the price that is suitable for you and what you are trying to do right so if i can just show you uh what is actually happening uh, when you do that right so you need to be logged in obviously uh, and then you need to have your account verified right as we said uh, don't do anything without having your account verified first so uh, let's say for example i come in here i have my uh, i have my bitcoin or i have my usd tether over here and i want to sell it right so i'm just gonna click on this uh price over here and then you see that is the price that will be updated here if you can click over here you see that that price will change right so that is the price that i'll be buying bitcoin at because i have usd tether in my account right so the available balance over here is the amount is the cryptocurrency that you have that you want to exchange for the other cryptocurrency right so for the other currency that you are trading against this uh, usd tether with right so in this case again our base cryptocurrency is bitcoin and here we have uh, our quote currency is the usd tether right so but at the same time if you want to do the opposite if you have bitcoin and you want to sell it uh, so that you can have usd tether it's just simply you just have to go to the to, to the next box over here with the next option over here which is basically the same right so i want to sell i have my bitcoin right and i want to sell it to the top buyer over here to the the, the guy who's offering the most cash right so this is the guy who's offering the most cash as you go down it actually goes down as you can see 38482 and then if you go down a little bit it's already uh, it's already a dollar less than the top buyer the top bidder 
over here, right? So these are the people who are already ready to buy, right? So the minute that you click on this, uh, this money is actually on the platform, right? This is like it's a, it's an order that is waiting to be filled, right? So that is exactly how the market moves, right? You know, uh, we do margin trading, but this is like the back end of the market, right? This is how the market is moving. They are buyers and sellers, right? So the the minute that you actually place your buy, you actually see the chart actually change over here because you have uh, you have made a trade, right? So that is exactly what will be happening in the market when you are doing the uh, margin trading. But it, basically, there are buyers and sellers in the market moving the market, and that is what uh, uh, forms on the on the on the chart, right? So remember that one of your videos, if you if you haven't watched it, uh, we we explained how the market basically moves, right? So uh, there are buyers and sellers in the market making such transactions, and then that is what we see on the charts, and then we do technical analysis uh, to basically see what the market can do next from there. Like as you can see here, we have a, we have an M formation uh, which basically could have told us that we are selling. There's a potential sell as you saw the market went down over here, right? So that is what will be happening. But basically, we can do technical analysis because the market always repeats its its, its moves, right? So, so the psychology behind uh, how people trade in the markets basically it keeps on creating those different patterns that we allows us to do technical analysis. But anyways, uh, to move on over here, as you saw, so that's basically how this works, right? So if you have USD Tether and you want your Bitcoin, uh, this is the option that you'll be using. So you just check your valuable balance uh, and then you'll be able to uh, select that amount, right? So this basically allows you to select how much of that uh, balance that you have. So if you want to sell maybe just uh, maybe 75% or 100% of it or 50% or 25%, but you can also just enter the amount of USD Tether that you want to spend, right? So this is the price and then the, uh, the amount of Bitcoin that you need over here. So maybe if you would need 25 Bitcoins, uh, then uh, the price will basically show over here. Uh, when you're logged in, then you can proceed to uh, buy, right? And then uh, the same works over here. So if you have your Bitcoin and you want to sell it, uh, you if you want instant instant results, if you want your Bitcoin to be sold that instant, you're going to click on the biggest, on the highest bid over here. Uh, then that means that, the, that they are ready to actually buy, right? They already, uh, the market, the money is right there for you to just take it, right? To just give them what they want and then they give you what you want. Otherwise, uh, if you have your own price that you want to sell, maybe you want to sell at a higher price than what is uh, currently being offered you place your your order but then it will go to the uh, open orders under open orders here you see your order uh, right there displayed because uh, there, there's no one who's offering that amount yet or the price hasn't reached that uh, point yet so the order will be just tagged as you can see these are all orders just waiting to be filled when the prices uh, reaches those orders right so that is basically what you need to understand about spot trading and then uh, the last thing that we can go and look at uh, which is the peer-to-peer trading so what happens here is that you actually have people like you and i who are listing their cryptocurrencies on the market and they're telling you uh what they want or the different tip payment methods uh, that you can make use of to actually buy from this uh, from these people that are selling here right so if you want to buy you select the buy if you want to sell you select the sell right so what happens is that you can choose uh, your local currency that you have so that you can uh, make purchase right so we in south africa we're going to use this czar we, so we just want to select to see if there are any people who are accepting South African rand in exchange for their cryptocurrencies, right? So this usually, this actually comes in handy when you don't have a different, you don't have means of buying cryptocurrency directly. Like if you want to buy cryptocurrency on this platform, you may, you can use your credit card and then you'll be able to buy instantly right from the market. But even that, in, in a case that you don't have uh, a credit card or you want to do bank transfers and different things like that, you can come to the P2P, which is peer-to-peer -peer trading. And then you can enter the amount that you want over here, or you can just just uh, see what the people are, are offering over there and then you'll be able to buy right so uh, here as you can see they'll tell you the limit which is the minimum and then the maximum that they can uh, offer you right so over here you're trying to buy buy usd tether using uh, your south african rand right so here these are the coins that you can buy or sell on this p2p uh, trading but if you want more options obviously we showed you uh, the way to go with the support trading right so that is where you're not limited to do to anything you can basically trade whatever you want right so here you can only trade USD Tether, Bitcoin, uh, uh, Binance USD, which is also another stable coin, which is one as to one US dollar. And then you have, you have the Binance coin, Ethereum, and then the DAI, right? The DAI coin. So those are the options that you can actually buy over here. So you just click on, uh, let's say you want to buy the USD Tether from this guy. So basically what it requires is a bank transfer, right? So they'll give you all the details that you need uh, to send that uh, bank transfer. And then uh, the best part about this is that when you send this money uh, to, this, to this person, uh, Binance already is holding these cryptocurrencies on your behalf right so when you send them the money 
when they receive the money, when the market, uh, when the money reflects their side, then automatically Binance will actually release those coins to you, right? So this reduces or actually eliminates any uh, fraudulent acts, like you know people just running away with your cash and everything like that. So this is actually the safest way to do it if you want to use bank transfers and things like that to buy crypto. But you also can uh, come through and look at these rates over here. So it just tells you how good or how well you can actually expect to work with this person, right? So the higher the rates, the better. So I would also, I would always recommend you to look for the people with the higher rates so that you reduce any uh, complications in the process of buying your crypto, right? So this price is actually range from whatever the price this person has set, right? So you actually set your own price over here. As you can see, 1597 for that USD Tether. And you can also, this guy is offering it as $16.50, right? So this also gives another opportunity, which we didn't in include in this video, but I'm just going to uh, explain it to you right now, which is called uh, cryptocurrency arbitrage, right? So what happens with this cryptocurrency arbitrage? Uh, as you can see, you buy low a crypto cryptocurrency you buy it low and then uh, you go sell it for a higher price what this means is that what this does is that you, you simply are buying a cryptocurrency low on one exchange and then going to sell it on a higher price so in the in the case like this one over here you could actually just do it on one platform you can actually buy from this guy and then relist those coins for sale uh, as, a, as a seller on this platform for a price higher as you can see there's also page two over here where prices are even higher than $16.50 right but the only issue with this with this method here is that you actually need quite a lot of money to start right uh, because you have to consider withdrawal fees uh, in this case like if you're just going to make maybe let's say this is uh, one to two percent profit uh, you, you're looking at the difference in these two prices over here that means you actually going to lose all that and even pay more when it comes to withdrawal fees uh, so it won't be profitable uh, and then maybe after 10 20 trades you'll see that your account is actually at a zero right so this type of trading which is called cryptocurrency arbitrage it basically requires you to have a little bit of more money right so uh, so that you are able to cover the fees for example if you're making a one percent trade profit uh, that should be able to cover the fees if the fees at five dollars then at least you know if that one percent is making you ten dollars at least you're keeping five dollars profit every time you do those crypto arbitrage trade again that's an extra bonus way to make money on the using this platform or any cryptocurrency exchange for that matter but remember we still have the five that we are going to cover later in this video and so yes that is how you do your the peer-to-peer -peer. so if you're going to be using this peer-to-peer -peer, basically they'll show you the instructions once you click on buy USD tether or whatever coin you want they give you the the terms and conditions over here you just follow those and then they'll be able to deliver your coins afterwards as you can see the available amount is already set because this is the, the money that is already on this account right uh, it's ready it's on hold ready to be released to the buyers so that is what it makes it very very safe uh, if you uh, if you consider buying crypto using uh, bank transfers like this so those are your three different types of uh, common ways to actually trade cryptocurrencies on this market so we remember we have the margin trading which you trade using leverage like what we do with the forex your in the your metals and your indices right and then we have the p2p which we just showed you right here which allows you to buy cryptocurrencies using things like a bank transfer which is not a common way to buy cryptocurrencies online because usually you would need a credit card right so it just simplifies uh, that process for people once you use uh those local methods of buying online maybe your bank doesn't allow you to use a credit card to buy to make those payments online uh, and then you can just find some local people who accept bank transfers using your local banks right so it just simplifies the process of buying cryptocurrencies and yeah that is uh, uh that is basically what we call the peer-to-peer -peer. and then we have the spot trading where there are already uh orders on the market and you can just uh, come in and then uh sell to the highest bidder or buy from the lowest seller price right so from the seller was offering the lowest price like what we have over here and then you can buy instantly so whatever cryptocurrency that you had on your balance is instantly traded uh, for those cryptocurrencies at the price that you have selected right so now with that being said those are the basics that you need to understand on this platform so that you are able to um to navigate on this platform right and then you are able to uh, to make your transactions and withdrawals and everything with that being said let's just quickly show you the binance app from the mobile perspective so that you can understand what is going on on that side as well 
well, right? So there are two ways to uh, install this app, right? So uh, the first one is that you can actually come uh, and download the APK if you're using your Android devices. You can actually download the APK from this platform uh, itself so that uh, you, you don't have any problems with it, right? So if you if you want to download the APK, you just click on Binance over there. So once you come to the Binance.com uh, over here, as you can see, if you just scroll down a little bit here, you'll find the uh, APK or you can actually download it from the Play Store. So sometimes you may not be able to install it uh, depending on your devices. Some of you, maybe you're using the Huawei devices whereby you are, you don't you no longer have access to uh, Google Play Store. So you can just come in and download the Android and then you'll be able to do that, right? So you can also download the Windows platforms, the Mac, the Apple. Uh, so with the Apple, you can actually just get it from the Apple Store, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't need to actually download the APK for, for Apple because you still have access to your Play Store. So that is not an issue, right? Uh, and then if you, for those who use Linux, but I don't think there's many of you, uh, you can also just download from there, right? And then the APIs for those who are into developing, uh, you understand what that is for, right? So it's basically to implement or make use of these platform services on your own platform, right? So whether it's a website, uh, it's a software that you're creating, uh, basically where you want people to trade uh, cryptocurrencies or different things like that, that have to do with uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, this can also be your number one platforms for those type of things, right? For those type of services, right? So once you have your APK, you can just open it, right? So uh, I'm just gonna show you my screen over here. So as you can see, I'm on Play Store. So I can just type in Binance over there. And then basically it will open up like that, right? So yeah, then you'll be able to download it or install it if you haven't. But as you can see, I've already uh, installed mine. So I'm just going to click on open. So right here, uh, as you can see, it will actually, uh, it will ask you again for your area. So you just select your South Africa. You also just select your country of residence. Uh, so again, if it's not on the list, if your country is not on the list, then unfortunately you cannot make use of this platform uh, or any ways that we are going to share in this video. So uh, that'll be very unfortunate, but you can always try to find someone who is in a country that is supported and then be able to open your own account, right? So here you have already registered your account. Uh, so you can just come to the, um, the login section over here at the bottom uh, so that you can continue. Uh, so remember, depending on whether you sign up with your email or phone number, you can select which option is available for you, right? So I'm just going to select phone number over here so that I can log in and then show you the back end on the mobile device side. Okay, so I've successfully logged in uh, from my device over here and basically this is what you'll be able to see. So remember when we earlier on when we said we can actually just scan the code uh, from your mobile phone so that you can log in. Basically, you just need to allow it to uh, to do that and then you'll be able to, uh, to actually scan the code so that you can log in, right? So that option is over here which allows you to simply log in by simply scanning uh, all that barcode and then you'll be able to log in, right? So here you can uh, do the searchings and so forth, right? Otherwise, you can just uh, you can also do your favorites right so uh, what this does is just to give you those if you have uh, markers that you always want to look at uh, that you're frequently looking at then you can just simply uh, add them to your favorites over here so that you can have easy access right? so there are different uh, options over here that you can go through your wallets will be over here you can deposit you can buy and then uh, you can do the trading you can buy cryptocurrency with your local exchange and then you can also do the fiat and cryptocurrencies deposits over there right so there's not uh, too much information over here as much as it is on the website itself, right? So the website obviously offers more information over there than what you can see uh, with this app, right? So obviously, if you need more options, uh, the website will be the number one to go. But here you can do some quick trades on the go. And, or you can also, uh, just from your website, if you don't have access to your PC, you can actually go to your Chrome browser. So let me just quickly show you how to get access to everything. So you can quickly just go and uh, type in Binance.com so once you go to binance.com uh, right here at the top right so you see these three dots at the top just click on them and then uh, this option over here which says desktop site uh, select it and then to refresh your page and then you have full access to the whole website as it is on the uh, on the way on the PC right so that will allow you to have access to everything that you need uh, which is can which can become handy on the go if you you need to do some type of trading that is not available uh, on the app itself right so that's basically what you need to know or understand about this uh, or different uh, ways to uh, access the app and now we are going to break down those top five ways that we've been promising you right from the start of this video let's actually dive into the top five ways uh, to get some money out of this platform right so number one is going to be the 
airdrops, right? So we, we are going to talk about airdrops. So basically, airdrops are a marketing method for different uh, companies or different projects that are being launched on the market, right? So basically what they do is they attract people by giving them free cryptocurrency airdrops, right? So one of the best platforms to do that, you can actually, actually just come down to a coin market cap. Uh, so coin market cap is where you get your different uh, different news on cryptocurrencies, you know, the prices and everything. There's just a lot of information that you can get here about cryptocurrencies, right? So once you come here and then you come to the menu over here and then you select uh, free airdrops, it will take you to a page where you can where you can participate in some free airdrops right so usually what you just need over here is just to follow some simple steps to claim these cryptocurrencies right so usually you know like what we say this is a marketing uh, method that these uh, projects or these new companies who are just launching their new cryptocurrencies will actually make use of right so they will ask you to do things like share a link on your uh, on your on your twitter on your facebook uh, so that they can actually reach more people through you right so uh, obviously people that follow you they trust you more than uh, they trust a company that is just like free get this free get the, that free right so if you share the link to your own friends obviously your friends they know you right so it's a better way to market uh than to for them to actually approach your friends themselves right so that is how you'll be able to uh, get uh, some free cryptocurrencies for you to try out right so that is number one way to actually do that so for those who want to invest a little bit of money there's another extra way to earn from the cryptocurrencies using a uh, binance or any uh crypto exchange basically they have uh, ICO calendar over here which is also new projects but basically here instead of getting the free airdrop you actually invest a bit of money right so usually what happens here is that you're actually buying this cryptocurrency at uh, maybe 50% or 80% cheaper than the uh, the price that it will actually go on, on the market right so they usually actually uh, bring in some instant results 20% uh, 30% return on investment instantly when the price when the token is actually release for the public right so usually as you can see some of the biggest gainers over here yeah it can be as high as almost a thousand percent which is 10x the price that you bought it at right so it just depends on the cryptocurrency it just depends on the project and what it is all about right so that you need to do a bit of research on that cryptocurrency to see the potential in it uh, as much as other cryptocurrencies have had that potential right so it just depends on what is their target what is their uh, goal that they're trying to achieve right are they actually solving an actual problem in in the world you know like cryptocurrencies are best known for eliminating fraudulent acts on the on the internet right so transparency is what makes uh, cryptocurrencies the uh, the best type of money that we have in this day and age if a project is, is promoting things like that you know things that are actually you know solving some issues that we have in the real world then the chances of it actually making it a uh, big on you know, that cryptocurrencies or actually getting the biggest return on investment are also increased when they have uh, something that they're actually solving in the real world right so that is just one tip that you can also make use of when you are trying to look for cryptocurrencies to invest in now Second option, which is similar to what we just said right now, is going to be the investing by buying those cryptocurrencies to actually hold, right? So, as you can see, some of the cryptocurrencies over here. So, uh, with this platform, as you can see over here, they have the recently added cryptocurrencies, right? So, what this allows you is that you can actually go and check out these cryptocurrencies whilst they're still very, very low uh, because this is the launch price, right? So, if you miss it as an ICO project, you can come through and check out at the um, launch price. Usually, it will also pay Pick up from there right so you need to understand what is, what is the main purpose of these cryptocurrencies what are they coming in the market to do what are they doing differently that will put them above the rest and basically uh, give them a boost in price right so if you see that okay you see the potential in these cryptocurrencies then it's something that you can actually go and then buy and then just hold for hold it and then see where it will go right so imagine if you had bought uh, bitcoin back in 2011 you've been sitting with a lot of money right so or even if you have just bought dogecoin just a few months ago or uh, was it 2020 2021 where the price went crazy high right so or if you had bought some shiba inu coin uh, obviously you wouldn't know about Shiba Inu coin if you didn't have this platform, such platforms such as Coin Market Cap, which gives you the trending coins, so that you can understand what people what people are talking about. You know what are they looking into buy and all those things. So remember where where the trend is is where the people are, right? So that is where the money is also, right? So follow the trend. Remember that this concept also apply even if you're buying cryptocurrencies because the trend is our friend, right? As we say when you're trading the forest markets, uh, the trend is your friend. So you know. 
just keeping up with what is trending can also give you an idea of what to buy and hold and also the recently added uh, they will also give you an idea of what to buy and hold as well so if you also just click on this more biggest gainers over here there's actually a trick that i want to show you as you can see this cryptocurrencies are being uh, ranked based on uh, on time frames right so you have to you have the hourly you have the 24 hour you have the seven day and 30 day uh, time frames right so this will tell you how much this coin has gone up in those uh, different uh time frames over here right so if you can come in here and find the ones that are booming in on the hour so let's say it's so you know what we do with the uh, when we're trading in forex right so we do the top down analysis right so if you can find a coin that is actually trending on all these time frames or at least you know on the hourly the 24 and maybe the seven days it, maybe it won't be that too late you can actually see that you'll be able to find some coins that are on these time frames at least two to three of these time frames and basically they'll keep on increasing the value right so maybe you just came in and then you saw a coin that is booming on one hour time frame which means it's still new maybe it's just in and a lot of people are buying that crypto that cryptocurrency right so that can actually be an opportunity for you to buy it maybe it just went uh let's say uh, if you click on it right now you can see this one has gone up by just 157 right but if you go to a daily which is the 24 hour you can see that some of these coins have gone up by uh, 745 percent right so or 850 as you can see over here which is the highest at the moment so 850 uh, but obviously it started somewhere by you know giving us those um those 150 percent increases uh, like what you saw on the a on the h1 right so if on the h1 you're seeing a coin that you might think that is actually going to keep on booming that is another way that you can be able to uh, see spot those different ways to actually uh, buy these coins and then uh, invest on them right so most of these coins you'll be able to buy them on uh, binance over here so one of the, the coin that is mostly used uh, for you to get access to this it will be the binance coin right so the bnb which you buy on this market over here so you just come through and then you you buy some of this coin which is the bnb or the, the bnb smart chain and then you'll be able to access you'll be able to buy uh those uh new cryptocurrencies that you see listed over here right so that is how you'll be able to, ex to get access to those because they're usually not on the market yet they are not all spread widespread meaning that if you want to if you have bitcoin you might not be able to get access to those coins because they are still new on the market right so maybe they're just trading against bnb on different swap markets like the uniswap uniswap which is one of the best places you can actually go and get some of these fresh new coins right so so that is buying low basically buying to hold uh, which is uh, our second way to make money using binance and these different coins right so going to our third which we've been promising you throughout this whole video is basically watching videos like what you're doing this video uh you know getting knowledge but also on top of that you're getting paid uh for downloading that knowledge into your brain and that is basically getting paid to watching videos so what you want to do is you basically come again to uh, CoinMarketCap. You come to CoinMarketCap again under products over here. You come and click on learn and earn, right? So learn and earn. And that will take you to a page where you'll be able to watch these videos and be able to uh, to earn, right? So if I can just quickly show you how the page will actually go. So I'm just going to open it and... Uh, I'm just gonna open it so that you can uh, show you exactly how it looks. I would highly recommend that you come to the FAQ page of that so that you can understand how exactly this will be distributed, how it actually works so that you don't waste your time and you know end up getting nothing, right? So the most important part about this is that you need uh, a KYC verified Binance account, right? So remember what you said, it is very essential that you get your account verified before you start engaging in all these different ways to make money through Binance uh, exchange, right? So it's very important that you get your kyc verified and then you'll be able to uh, partake in this in these different ways of making money through binance right when you click on that uh, learn and earn you it will take you to this page where you'll be able to see these different uh cryptocurrencies that you can actually earn right so if you can just scroll down look at all these cryptocurrencies that you can actually earn guys it's a lot right there's really a lot of them very lot uh, there's a lot right this is endless as you can see they all keep they keep on adding new ones uh when this uh, when some of these actually run out or expire uh so the, obviously it will be limited amount that they are giving away and then when they reach um once they reach that amount obviously they will move on to the new project so what you want to do when you come here is just simply once you have your account verified you just select any of these so you you, you know learn send and then you what will happen is that you go through the videos you answer a few questions uh based on those videos and then you'll be able 
able to uh, to to earn those cryptocurrencies, right? So uh, if you go through this one, you that means you also earn the CRU coins. How much will you earn? Basically, it depends on how much is being distributed distributed uh, by that network, right? So uh, it, it's 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 not guaranteed how much you make. You make uh, five dollars from one project and maybe twenty thirty dollars on another, or even a hundred dollars from another coin. But remember, uh, some of these coins are still very new. So if you buy them and hold them, obviously over long over time they have the potential to actually go higher and when an when a team is launching a crypto and they put in the effort to actually educate people about what they're doing what they're trying to achieve with their coin it means that there's actually more potential of it actually being hugely uh used over the world so spread all over the world meaning that there will be more demand for that coin and automatically it gives it more value and that is you know something that you'll be interested to have a piece of right so that'll be it for watching videos uh through this market over here so remember you go to coin market cap uh, you select that uh, you click on that link under uh, products learn and earn and then it takes you to this page and then you'll be able to get started uh, learning right so if you just click on get started it takes you to this uh, section and then you can just get started uh, learning all those uh, videos watching all those videos and then getting paid uh, just like that right so now we are going to move on to trading so we spoke a little bit about trading earlier where we said that you can actually do the margin trading uh, on this platform. What this means is that you'll be trading it exactly the way we do with Forex and uh, other pairs that we trade on the markets, right? So I'm just going to zoom in over here, but basically you'll be able to analyze the charts exactly how we do it on MT4. Uh, you can even go and find these markets on on trading view so that you can have uh you know maybe you're used to using trading view and then you analyze what you think will happen uh to this market and then once you see what what you think will happen basically you can then come on and uh place your trades right so that will be uh where you need to come here uh, and then go under trade and then go to margin trading right so uh you'll be increasing your profits with leverage as they say over there and then uh that is the one way you can actually trade over here and make some money uh through trading cryptocurrencies uh the way that we trade the markets the normal way that we do trade the markets right so and then last but not least this is more so of a, of a passive way to earn from these cryptocurrencies, right? So if you come to the earn over here, you see that they have these different options over here that you can uh, you can you can come through here and read about it all and see what actually works for you. But we actually just going to be talking about staking over here, which basically is one of the most common ways to actually earn passively from your cryptocurrencies, right? So what happens is that you deposit your cryptocurrency over here and then they'll basically lock away your cryptocurrencies and what that means is that uh you can come actually read over here but basically when you are when your cryptocurrencies are locked that means that they are they are on hold right so you cannot get them back or withdraw them unless you uh, have met those uh, amount of days that you have agreed to have your coins locked away so as you can see here you have the option of uh, 30 days you have the, the option of 21 days 90 days 120 but basically the more that you hold uh, the the higher your return on investment will so the estimated return per year over here will basically be 106 percent which is quite a lot compared to the banks right so remember the banks can give you something as little as little as five percent so here you have the opportunity to actually double or your account right so basically uh, in a year's time you can actually just invest this and then you'll be able to uh, get that amount of return in that in that um in, the, in that duration right so if you obviously as we said the less amount of days uh, the less percentage that you'll be able to make so here you can make 35 percent in 30 days or you can make 40 uh, about 40 about 40 30 percent uh, in 60 days which is roughly about two months right so here they'll also tell you the minimum amount that you need to for you to be able to stake so you need at least 10 million of these coins over here but don't be shocked uh, by that amount over here it can be something that is uh, you know less than a dollar or maybe less than a cent the price could be something like 0 0.0001 uh, and basically making it uh, 10 million of this could probably cost you just ten dollars right so don't be alarmed by these big amounts that you see over here unless if it was 10 million bitcoin that would be something crazy right so which obviously is not something that would be practical on this platform but you can just go through the list and then see what you are willing to buy and how long you're willing to hold it and then you'll be able to earn that so this is basically interest per annum so you just choose what you are comfortable with and then you're able to hold it for that long and then earn some money passively right so you don't have to do any active trading you don't have to analyze the market but the one thing that you need to keep in mind is that 
yes you can make 100% of your money in that duration that you have uh, kept the uh, your coins locked away but then at the same time you need to understand that this price the price of this coin can actually go down right so if it goes down by uh, maybe exactly that amount if it goes down by half then maybe you only making your profits will actually be just 50% but at the same time this price can actually go up right so that 100% over here if this price continues growing that can be actually be worth maybe three times more compared to the time that you actually uh, invested in these coins right so that is basically another way that you can earn passively on this platform over here so you just come through you just see what coins that you want to invest in and then you'll be able to uh, withdraw when your um, your duration has expired right so those are the five interesting ways plus the two bonuses two or three bonuses that we share throughout this video that you can actually make use of to grow your money through cryptocurrencies whether you're trading whether you're passively doing it through something like staking away or as we said you can actually come through and then uh, try all these different ways here and see what basically works for you but the staking one is basically uh, one of the best and easiest way to do it because you don't have to do anything you simply put away the money that you don't need at the moment and then you'll be able to earn on that money passively right so if you got any questions guys the comment section is down below leave your comment we'll get back to you uh, as soon as possible and we actually do read all comments so that is an opportunity for you to ask any questions that you have whether it's something that you didn't understand for this video or it has to do with other videos it's all up to you uh, remember to follow us on different social media platforms uh, to stay up to date with what we have for you guys that's all that we had for you in this video if you did enjoy this video if you found it helpful please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and share the video with other people share with your friends so that they can also be able to make the most out of this new world of cryptocurrencies with that being said we'll be seeing you on the next one